Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Hammy, and welcome back to my video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about my first adopter, and I'm going to be showing you everything I have to get ready. So, recently I have gotten a adopter, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I actually have a snail rescue, and I've been working on the past month getting somebody to adopt a snail, and I finally got someone which I am so excited about. Um, but I have to, it's taken me two weeks to get all the stuff ready. Um, like I had to go through the adoption process with them and then get shipping supplies ready because this is the first adoption. So none of this is planned. Well, it's planned. It's just, I've never done it before. So it's like figuring out how this is gonna work. And then later on, it will be a lot easier for me to do shipping because I've already done this before. So I'm very excited about that and I just wanted to tell you guys about that. And I will give you further updates through videos, content, whatever, in um, a week or so. But today is Monday when I'm filming this. I am going to supposedly post this today. But today is Monday, and tomorrow, hopefully in the morning, I will be shipping the snails. So I have a lot to do right now, and I'm getting a very late start on it um, as of today because all of this had to be done today, but I'm just getting a late start on getting the snails all packed up and ready to go tomorrow. But this is so exciting, guys, and I'm just going to be doing it with you guys and showing you everything I have ready. Um, obviously, I can't give you out any personal information like their name. Clearly, I can't, but... Um, it is legally shipped, all that, so no need to worry. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, um, my box and everything. So, like, if you've never, um, shipped a snail, not really a snail, just any animal in general, you have to have a certain box. It has to have certain requirements to be able to be shipped. Um, so I'm going to be showing you what I have. Um, we were going to order a box, but like I said, this is my first time, the first adoption ever. And um, so I was like kind of experimenting and seeing what I could do. Um, but that box was not in my price range. So, and this, um, this is the first adoption, like I said, like three times. So there is no fees for this adoption. It's completely free for the adopter not for me um but this is the box i have i have put in, put lots of stickers on the front of it and on every single side of the box this is not um i didn't pre-buy the box like this you can pre-box or pre-buy boxes that already have like everything they've got the stickers the labels um but I bought these stickers off of Amazon for like 10 bucks and then I bought the box at Walmart. And then of course you're gonna need containers for the snails and I was gonna get deli cups. Um, there's an example back there somewhere but I was gonna get deli cups but instead I got these because they didn't have deli cups at Walmart. So in the future I will be using deli cups, FYI if you're looking to adopt. You won't be getting a uh, whatever this is <laughs> so this was just you know cheap temporary thing um quite useful you can actually i would actually use these if i wasn't shipping but you can only fit about two of them in here because it's quite a small box it the measurements are right there um so i'm gonna have to use a smaller container but i'm gonna go ahead and uh tell you guys who they're adopting and I'm also going to show you them because they have some things they have to pack up before they go. And we're going to put them in these containers as well, put them in the box, and I'll show you how I get them all in there um, and all that good stuff. So let's get to it. Okay, guys, so I've kind of changed the position of the camera because I'm about to show you guys. So they are actually adopting three snails. Um, they were originally adopting two um, both of those are on the website and will be taken down uh, as of tonight. They will be taken down tonight um, and I'm going to put a blog up about them because they are going to a new home. Very exciting. Um, and then they just emailed or messaged me uh, last night and they want to adopt another so 
I've got another one for them. This one has no name and is not on the website, so good for them. But that one does need a little bit more care uh, because that one was not ready for adoption, so that one needs a bath and everything. It's very small though, so yeah. So the first one is Finn, and I'm sure if you've looked at my website, you've seen Finn on there. And I was kind of shocked when they told me they wanted to adopt Finn because everybody wants to adopt the big snails. It's kind of the, like with dogs, everybody wants the small dogs and not a ton of people want the big dogs. Well, it's kind of the opposite with snails. Everybody wants the big snails, nobody wants the small snails. And small snails are like super fascinating and like not a lot of people know that, but they really are and they're really, um, they're equally as fascinating creatures, so it doesn't really matter about the size, but it's generally all the emails I and messages I get are about the big snail, which I only have, at the time I only had like one big snail, I have two or three now, but on the website, I have tons of big snails, but on the website I only have a few up. But we're gonna go ahead and get Finn out. He... He's gotten very big. He's actually just finished growing. I don't know if he's gonna come out. Oh. He's very healthy, I'm not gonna lie. He is... A lot of my snails are very... Or like some of the rescues or wild caught ones are very shy. And they're not as healthy as my others, but this guy, uh, he's super healthy, very, um, very nice. <laughs> Although he won't come out right now. But this is, um, Finn. He, I think, so like, if you go on my website right now, um, I don't know if you go, by the time I post this video, if you go on there, I don't know if I'll have Finn and Boo still on there. Oh, I just told you the other one. I'm sorry. The other one is Boo, but um, if you go on there, I don't know if you're going to see them because I might have taken them down by the time I post this video, but if you go on there, you will actually see their um, the pictures of them, and that's when they were younger, and it's really cool to see how much they've changed and um, everything else, but I'm getting a bit sidetracked now, so I'm going to go ahead and put him back and... Um, We'll get him settled into his traveling carrier and a minute, but I'm going to show you Boo, who I've already told you two seconds ago. There's fungi gnats. Um, if you do not know about fungi gnats, you get them as well with a snail. Um, but this is Boo. Boo, um, he's a bit smaller for his um, species, but he is overall a pretty good snail. He's a bit smaller, and like I just said, and he has a little bit of shell damage, but he doesn't seem to be affected much by it, or at all. And there he is. And actually, the fun thing about his him is he was one of the first snails I put on that website, and um, if you look at my uh, my icon for my channel, uh, the snail I'm holding is Boo when he was younger. It's really fascinating, um, and I'm really gonna miss him because he was probably, um, of course I have snails that I worked with a lot more than him, but he, w he was a snail I worked with a lot, and I, um, did a lot of stuff with him. Um, he had a, a few accidents, but he's still, he's still going, but, um, he's going to find himself a new home. As you can tell, he's so excited about it. <laughs> Moving very slowly. But he's going to get pampered in a few seconds and put into his um, traveling carrier. I'm going to show you the next one in one um, This one, like I said, has no name whatsoever. <laughs> um, and this one might be the same species as... Um, Boo, or not Boo, uh, Finn, but, um, he's not identified, so, I'm gonna show you him, or her, whatever the person decides to name them, and they're also very small, so you will not be able to see them, they probably won't come out either, but, <laughs> now that you've seen them, and there's not much I can say, because they're recent rescues, um, 
We're gonna go ahead and pamper these guys. I gotta go get my supplies and then um, get these containers ready and I will be right back. So I have got all my supplies ready, um, but I'm not going to do everything yet. I'm gonna explain to you what I'm doing and then I'm gonna do it um, just because I don't have a good camera angle. So I've got three containers of little bit tiny bit that has a bit more but tiny bit of substrate um because the rest of it's mostly going to be filled up with moss um and they're not the tiny ones are not going in here alone um i'm actually going to get them some smaller containers i'm just putting some other snails in here and putting them out there and then i've got some dead moss uh no dyes um it's just dead. Um, I think I have some other moss too that's live. Um, and so that's gonna, for Boo at least, it's gonna be packed with moss and he's just gonna be in there with a little piece of carrot or something. Um, so he's not gonna be shifting around if that does happen because a majority of this box is gonna be filled with newspaper wrapping them up. So if he does, if this box happens to shift around uh, or get shaken up, um, that he will not um, be shaken up as much or at all. Um, and then I, so I'm gonna switch, get them uh, their things ready for them. And I have a green tea bath um, soaking for them. <laughs> and they're each gonna get a little bath and I have some coconut oil that I'm going to clean their shells with and just give them some protein as a snack and um, hopefully that will help them i've got the green tea right here i'm going to be soaking that for just 30 seconds or to a minute not too long but i'm going to be recording everything i do so i'm going to go ahead and get to that Okay guys, so I have Boo all packed up, he's right here, and like I said, of course, I'll be checking on them in the morning, and then right here we have Finn with lots of moss and a carrot, and then we have No Name with lots of the moss and the carrot in their little things. I'm going to go ahead and put the lids on here. I'm not as worried as them, uh, for them because uh, they really don't I don't think they're gonna shift around as much where he's bigger more bulky um he might you know shift around or whatever so I was a bit more worried about him I aha here you go I lost the lid for 10 seconds um but they've got tons I'm honestly worried about them just getting lost in this little container and then I'm gonna label these so that they know who is who, what is what, because they're probably not going to remember. Um, but they are all packed up, guys, and there's a huge mess in my room now, but um, they will be shipped in the morning, hopefully, and I'm so excited, but it's like so sad at the same time, because I've had these guys for months, and I've been working with them, and I've been grown so used to them always being there. Um, even though sometimes it was stressing me out, like, oh, I'm not good enough to take care of these. Oh, I forgot to feed them this day or whatever. Um, it would just worry me, and then I would always want to find them homes and be like, oh, I'm never going to find them homes. And then it gets to this point where they're going to homes, and they're not going to be with me anymore. Um, it, I'm ne probably never going to see them again. I'll see photos, but I'll probably never... Um, see these guys again and it's just really s emotional it's like sad and happy all at the same time it's like happy oh my gosh they're going to new homes and I have tons of space well not tons of space but I have space now for m more snails which is something I thought I wouldn't have um because I'm always willing to take in snails but um 
Do I always have the space? No, no, I don't always have the space. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And now I have space and there's room on the shelf for another snail to be helped. And while this is sad, I have to remember that these snails would never have had a chance if it wasn't for me. If I didn't rescue them, then they would not be here. They wouldn't have a chance to find a home, to be rescued. They wouldn't have these chances. And I'm just really happy and sad for them all at the same time. Um, well, I'm not sad for them, but um, I'm just really happy for them. And even though my journey with them, it has come to an end, they have a whole nother journey ahead of them with somebody else, a new home. I mean, it's, you know, like, it's not like they're gone forever. They're always a part of me in some way, you know, they're always there with me because Boo was like, um, one of the first snail, he's not one of my first rescue snails because I've had tons of rescue snails before him, but he was one of the first snails that actually went up on the website and so he was kind of like one of the inspirations to start the rescue so he was like very important with the rescue and one of the first and that's just really cool to see him go find a new home and um, just it's really cool and so um, I'll try not to cry when I ship them, um, because there's like a million things that could go wrong in shipping, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna be happy that they're going to a new home. So, with that all out of the way, and I've shown you guys me just packing them up and just saying my final goodbyes to them, um, that is all I have for this video. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night. Bye!